Hello everybody, this is Matt Cat Sphere, and I just wanted to upload a video to talk about how you're able to see your chi energy and um, I've been wanting to upload this and talk about it but I've been forgetting about it. It's been like half a year and um, one of the techniques that I've kind of just bumped into and just found out was that you're able to see your chi energy, your chi energy when you close your eyes and you have and you're sitting in a nice little wild lit room or you're outside or you or the window, you know the sun's coming in through the window, you close your eyes and by looking at the by you know by you know no matter what by uh, just staring at the, the 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 inside lid of your closed eye the inside of your closed eyelid you know you know how like you can see like a like a tint of pink or a tint of, of red that's the inside of your the skin fold of your eyelid when you look at it you're able to see these kind of strange things this kind of strange um manifestations of these apparition kind of things of uh of imagery of this kind of soft flowing imagery kind of kind of swirling and bending and mixing and stuff like that and um what, what i found out was when you're looking at the inside of your skin of the of your of your eyelid when it's closed with a nice lit outside or something the sun shining on it you're able to see these things kind of swirling around and that kind of tripped me out a little bit and i kind of believe you know you see like um like you're able to see it's your energy because what it is was that um, it's kind of like you have to pay attention to um, the light tinge, the light pink, which is the skin of your eyelid, and this dark, slightly more darker, kind of red or pink, kind of uh, flowing uh, motion of this this uh, uh, imagery, kind of flowing around. And it's kind of both those colors, those those um, contrast colors are kind of swirling around. And what the what I found out was that um, I put my hands up to create um, a cyborg. A chi energy ball and as I did that I was just kind of messing around and just kind of like recognizing it and I found out that when I held it long enough I was able to see uh, this uh, the, um, that the imagery is collecting in between my hands and I was able to see this kind of little ball this spherical little ball morphing and manifesting and growing in between my hands as I was trying to kind of you know create this chi energy ball and it was actually the little darker red or the darker pink that was collecting there and just kind of manifesting and just um, growing there. And so that's one thing that I found out and I believe it to be your chi energy because it's it basically your physical and your spiritual energy kind of like just that's the only way that I think that you can really see it by by um, more for like novices, you know, and for um, for just just human beings to be able to see their energy just by default by just closing your eyes and paying attention close attention to the swirling apparition-y um, imagery it's very subtle it's very soft and if you and uh, of course it could be shadowing but the thing is though is that how can it be shadowing if, it, if there's, if there's a, a ball morphing between your hands as it's closed you know there's no way that that can occur and you could also do it in angles so the shadow doesn't appear on your face while your eyelids are closed and um, and the other thing is though is that uh, you know, you have to pay attention to it. Don't force it. Don't force yourself to uh, see this flowing uh, contrast of light pink and dark, uh, dark pink or dark red or whatever. Don't force yourself to see something. Uh, it, it'll just happen and come to you. You have to be relaxed. You have to be um, uh, let, let 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 your mind be opened. You know, um, don't 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 try try to force yourself to see something. Let it kind of manifest. Let it kind of let it guide you and how it wants to appear. You know, let it manifest and appear how it wants, you know. It's kind of the same as psychokinesis where you don't force something to happen. You kind of just let it happen. You kind of apply yourself 50% and also let the the magic of the world and what you're in kind of work itself too to make it come to life in front of you. And so, what um, you know, and, and also too, what I found out too is when, when you have your hands kind of, I try kind of doing this to see if there's any energy flowing around and there was. But the thing is, though, is that of course it could be shadowing, but there was also, um, because the energy will go around it and manifest around the hand. So it wasn't like, it wasn't like the, the, the imagery was, was, was forming the shadow. It wasn't like it was a shadow. The energy was, it was following the hand, but it was also creating its own kind of, um, formation around it and kind of following way after. So I'll move it like this and then something else would come after so that's like the energy that's like something more 
There has to be a chi energy. And so when you move your hands like this, you're going to see something, you, you know, let's say that there's a dark shape kind of manifesting right here while your eyes are closed. You're paying attention to the inside of your eyelids, okay? And you're seeing these formations uh, happen and manifest. And when you move your hand like this, you're actually squishing the energy. As you're moving your hand like this, you're squishing it. And it's following and expanding and contracting in the middle. It's not the shadowing. It's not the shadowing. It's not manifesting with the shadow. It's in between and around it. So it's like a chi energy. And so it's something more than that. And that's the way to see a chi energy. And I want you guys to have practice this. You know, try to create a little chi ball, do it an angle so the shadow doesn't get in the way. Don't force it. Uh, let, let it, It'll happen. It's not difficult. You guys will get it within two days or something like that. And just practice it. And try to create this chi ball energy. Try to see if you can expand it and grow it. And just kind of start small. And just kind of like form it and be relaxed. And you'll be able to get it. And that's something of how you can see your chi energy, your spirit energy. This is Mad Cat Sphere. Give it a try, guys. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section. And uh, tell me how, how well you guys are doing. Okay? Thank you, guys. God bless.